Hello and welcome to the Butterfly Room, where we create to fly. I'm SF Hardy, Children's Librarian with the Detroit Public Library, and today I'm going to give you a very quick tutorial on how I make my soy candles. So go grab your supplies and let's make some candles together. Today I'm using 415 soy wax, no additives. I'm using a glass container that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. You want to make sure that the containers you're using can be used for candles. A measuring cup, wooden wicks. I'm doubling them because I like that it burns across the candle container evenly. And the wooden wicks are a little more stable wick holder, tab, warning sticker. You always want to place a warning sticker on the bottom of your candle container. Wick cutter, or you can use scissors. Candy thermometer. And of course, your scent. Today we're using papaya mango from Wellington Fragrance in Livonia, Michigan. So we already have our wax measured out. I'm using a little less than a half a pound. The rule of thumb is to use one ounce of scent for every pound of wax that you're using. We already have wax cooling off. We want it to cool down to about 150 so that when we add the scent, it gives a better scent throw. And once we let it um, cool off and we add the scent, we're going to mix it really good and then let it cool down a little more and pour the candle cold. So, since we already have this um, cooling down, we're going to put the thermometer in and take the temperature and make sure it's gotten at least to 150. Now we're going to add the scent. In our measuring cup. And it should measure to be a little less than or at a half an ounce. You're going to pour it in and you want to stir it up real quick. So I stir counterclockwise 30 times and clockwise 30 times. It smells awesome. Can you smell it? Mm. Now, this particular burner has a spot on it, so we're going to um, pour the wax in that way. We're going to let it cool a little more, but while we do that, we're going to prepare our container for the pour. And the first thing we're going to do is put our warning sticker on. Then we're going to add our wick. I'm just applying the tab to the wick holder like so. Then I put the the wicks inside the holder and then we're going to center the wick inside the container and now we're going to pour the wax into the container. Okay. 
It smells delicious. I wish you could smell it. And now we have wax inside the container and we want to let it sit for about 48 hours to 72 and then you can burn it so today i am going to give this candle to the first person that comments on this video i hope you enjoy i will place vendors in the comment section and if you have any questions feel free to ask and have a good day till next time